Hey guys, Christy Miller here with Oak Hill Millworks, here today on behalf of Baird Brothers Fine Hardwoods. And as you can see, I am surrounded by them. They are gorgeous and really, this is where the process truly begins. Today, we're gonna talk in more detail with Terry Baird, an expert on the topic. Why don't you guys come along? Hey Terry, uh, tell us a little bit about where we are on campus right now. So we're in our trim warehouse where we store all of our finished product that's ready for retail sale. And I can clearly see that I'm surrounded by gorgeous wood, but I want to talk to you a little bit more about red oak. What can you tell me? Red oak is kind of the old stable in the hardwoods to where for a lot of years it was the most, it was our most popular species we sold. But it's still just a very nice hardwood that gives you the grain appearance. It's just a really, I, personally, my favorite species. So most customers, when they're ordering red oak from you guys, what are they doing with it? There again, uh, the moldings, flooring makes a very nice floor, doors. It, it covers the whole gamut from stairway systems to whatever your imagination can dream up. So in my experience, when I've worked with red oak, it just takes the stain so easily and so beautifully. Does that have to do with that more open pour that it has? Yeah, yeah. It, it just, you know, with the harder surface, it seems like it absorbs more uniform. You know, your, your open grain will take it a little bit darker than the other will, but it just stains nice. And from what I gather, correct me if I'm wrong, but it is still fairly economical for a hardwood species as compared to some of your other types like oh, walnut or yes, cherry. Yes, yeah, yeah. It, it's really, everybody has this mystique that red oak is really expensive, which it isn't compared to the white oak, which is in current conditions about double the price of red oak, in which by staining the red oak, you can make the red oak look like white oak. Do you see red oak being used in flooring a lot? Yes. I think the, um, it's common, you know, and it, it, the common hurts and helps it to where everybody had red oak back in the 70s and 80s, and it kind of went away, but now it's kind of coming back. But the red oak makes a really nice floor. Does that have anything to do with uh, the hardness of the wood and kind of the traffic that it might see? Yeah, red oak's not the hardest, but it's hard to where it, it wears well in a flooring application. The red oak, obviously the red and the name hints that it might have a little bit of a pinkish tone. Yeah, and that is one of the disadvantages, I guess you could say, compared to white oak is more uniform, where red oak can have a wider spectrum of colors to it from the, the pink to the red to the mineral, you get some of the darker streaks in it. So there's there's more of a color variation in red oak compared to white oak. So Terry, it sounds to me like red oak is a really great resource to utilize. Tell me a little bit more about how Baird can process it in different ways to give folks at home a slightly different look. Predominantly the way we sell our, you know, the oak Red oak is flat sawn with the cathedral grain going like this. Then we do a quarter sod where we have the vertical grain. So it gives you a kind of totally different appearance in the wood. Uh, you're seeing the wood race turns into the flex that you see on the face. And it gives you a more stable product because you're changing the orientation of the growth rings. So in flat sawn shrinks more with the width of the board. So for a more stable product, the quarter sawn makes a lot nicer, more stable floor. So when customers order red oak from Baird Brothers, what can they expect? Red oak has a lot of different characteristics within its species. If you want the natural look in a wood product, and there's a lot of it in the forest, red oak's a nice species. Well, thanks so much for coming out with us today, guys. As you can see, there's no shortage of products available to you here at Baird Brothers, and the folks here are experts. So if you ever need help, you can call into the store, or if you want to learn more, visit BairdBrothers.com.